Going to the gate in race one, New Coast Typhoon with Sam Hodgen, Alyssa Down with Steve Mason, Do You Believe in Me with Todd Trites, March Pass with Dale Spence, Shabley Bayama with Mark Haig, Be Willful with Gordy Hennessy. Field of six, behind the gate. Gate is moving. They're at the top of the stretch. Here they come. Uh, they're off quickly battling for the lead as they go for the turn. Do you believe in me on the inside march past on the outside? They swing into the turn for the opening eighth. Do you believe in me? Is out in front quickly has opened up two lengths. Alyssa Downs on the pylons driving two. March past on the outside. Now moves to the pylons in the third. Shabley by Amazon the outside four. Then New Coast Typhoon and the trailer. Be willful as they step their way to the opening quarter. There by that mark. 30 in 30 seconds flat into the top turn. Out in front, do you believe in me? It's a length and a half. Alyssa down two, moving on the outside. Shabley Bayama is there to be three on the inside. March past four. Be willful is tipped to the outside. Five, the trailer now. Nuko's Typhoon, they're off the turn. Down the stretch on their way to the half. Still out in front, do you believe in me? Opens up a length and a half. Now it's two as they go by the judges' stand. In one a minute and a four fifths. Into the turn, do you believe in me? Alyssa down on the pylons, two up on the outside. Shabli Bayama challenging for three, takes away now by a neck on the inside. March pass to the back stretch for the final time. On the inside, that's Nuko's Typhoon, be willful the trailer. On down the back stretch, do you believe in me? Is still out in front, has been there for every step by the three quarters. Now they go. In one, 32 and one. Three lengths out in front. Do you believe in me? Alyssa down, driving two. Be willful is three wide. Now moves to be third. Do you believe in me? Is opened up four lengths at the head of the lane. Driving on home. Do you believe in me? Brings them down the stretch to the wire. Do you believe in me? Over Alyssa down. Be willful, charging to the wire. Do you believe in me? All alone by six at the wire. Do you believe in me? March past. And be willful in 203. Prating back is the official winner of race one. It's the three horse, do you believe in me? Four-year-old bay pacing mare by Neutralize from uh, Do You Think She Saw Us? Owned by Robert McNeil of St. John, trained by Robert McNeil, driven this afternoon by Todd Trites. Three, do you believe in me? And 203 is the official race winner. And for Todd Trites, 38th winning drive at Exhibition Park this season. Brown Ben with Wayne Watson and Joey's sidekicks with Sean McLennan. Field of seven behind the gate. Gate is moving. At the top of the stretch. Here they come. They're off quickly from the five hole. Golden opportunity going for the lead on the inside. Casimir Luciano takes it away. They go to the turn. 
O.K. Elegance on the pylons, uh, driving third. The Viking Prince on the outside, four. Headley Jays on the inside, moving five. They go to the back stretch now and racing in six. Big Brown Ben and the trailer down the back stretch. Joey's sidekicks on the way to the opening quarter. Out in front still Casimir Luciano being challenged up on the outside by Golden Opportunity, 30 and one to the opening quarter. They now go neck and neck round the top turn. Now Golden Opportunity takes that lead away on the outside. On the inside, Casimir Luciano driving into OK Elegant Racing 3. Off the turn, down the stretch now going for the half. Golden Opportunity, that's the new leader, out in front by three parts of a length as they go by the half. In 59 and 4, Golden Opportunity drives on top in two. That's uh, Casimir Luciano in the three. OK, elegant. They're in the turn now, going by the five eights, so racing in for the Viking Prince, followed down the back stretch by Joey's sidekicks as they go for the three quarters. Up on the outside, Big Brown Ben and the trailer, Headley J. On to the three quarters station and Golden Opportunity holds that lead out to challenge. In 131 and two, Casimir Luciano's up on the outside. OK, elegant on the pylons, driving in three. Followed round the top turn by the Viking Prince as they swing to the head of the lane. Golden opportunity on the outside. Casimir Luciano down the stretch and charging to the wire. Golden opportunity on the outside. OK, elegant on the inside. Casimir Luciano going to be golden opportunity. Casimir Luciano and OK Elegant in 2-2. Two -two. Pretty now, ladies and gentlemen, the unofficial winner of race two, that's the five horse, Golden Opportunity. He's a three-year-old Bay Pace and Gelding by Liz Myra from Fantasy Jet. Owned by Phil Reed of Fredericton and Douglas Cameron of Upper Hampstead. Phil Reed, the trainer driver. Five, Golden Opportunity. In 202, the official race winner. For race three, we have Contact Jones with Mark Haig, RR's Wanderer with Gordy Hennessy, Provoke Me with Mike Downey, Miss Chevious Luck with Todd Trites, Mackenzie Kate with Phil Reed, Eagle Sarah with Sean McLennan. Field of six, behind the gate. Ah, uh, they're at the top of the stretch. Here they come. They're off quickly off the gate as Provoke Me opens up two lengths and on the pylons driving into his contact. Jones, they go to the turn. RR's Wanderer is their third mischievous luck driving four. On the outside now racing five and moving to the inside. Mackenzie Kate, the trailer. Eagle Sarah. They're down the back stretch going for the opening quarter. Provoke me by a length and a half, the leader. Driving second, that's Contact Jones back two more lengths uh, in third. R.R.'s Wanderer by the quarter. 32. In 32 seconds into the top turn, now they go out in front. Provoke me a length and a half, the leader driving on the inside. Contact Jones is a second, racing in third. R.R.'s Wanderer then, mischievous luck, Mackenzie Kate, the trailer still, Eagle Sarah. Off the turn, down the stretch now to the half mile station. Positions are unchanged, the leader still. Provoke me a length and a half, that's contact. Jones driving to action to the outside. 
by the half and 103 and 1 and on the move are ours wonder as they go to the turn mischievous luck on the pylons is fourth now moves up to be third there by the five eights over to the back stretch for the final time Provoke me's up and up three lengths as they head on down the back stretch, driving second still. That's a contact. Jones back for third as they go by the three quarter mile marker. Mischievous luck. 133 and 1 for the three quarters and the leader still as they go to the top turn is provoke me provoke me by two lengths driving to it's still contact Jones as they swing round the turn less than an eighth of a mile to go moving in third mischievous luck off the turn and down the stretch provoke me on the outside here comes contact Jones it's now contact Jones and provoke me going to be contact Jones provoke me mischievous luck in 203 and 1 Breeding back was a 39th winner of the season at this track. That's the leading race winner, Mark Hag with one contact, Jones. Five-year-old Bay Pace and Gelding by Intrepid Sealster from Little White Lies. Owned and trained by Chester Eatman of Burt's Corner, driven to victory by Mark Hag in 203 and one fifth. One contact, Jones is the unofficial race winner. Isn't free with Lonnie Stokes. Armbro Comet with Gordy Hennessy. Field of six behind the gate. Gate is moving. At the top of the stretch. Here they come. They're off the streak. Streaks out of there and takes that lead on the inside. Miss Polly D is driving on. They go to the turn. Neck and neck in the turn. Now on the inside. Miss Polly D takes command. The streak on the outside. Looking for room on the pylons. Finds it as they go to the back stretch. Blue man group racing three. Arm bro comet moving four. Racing in five four. Ever finesse and the trailer. Freedom isn't free as they go to the opening quarter. Miss Polly D's out in front it's the length and a quarter in 30 and 1 the streak driving two blue man group racing three armbro comet four four ever finesse of five the trailer still freedom isn't free they're around the turn now to the head of the lane and on the way to the half mile station still miss Holidays on top by a length and a half down the stretch. The streak driving to Blue Man Group Racing 3. Armbro Comet now to the outside from 4. Here comes Forever Finesse as they go by the tow board in 101 and 2. Into the turn now. Freedom is and free is now the trailer as they go for the five eights. Miss Paula D by a length and a half driving second. Still the streak on the outside. Moving on to be third as they go down the back stretch for Ever Furness. It's Miss Paula D driving on top on the inside. Racing in second. That's the streak for Ever Furness on the outside. Now third. Now second. 132. Time for the three quarters into the top turn miss apology and up on the outside forever finesse is now second going for win number five in a row forever finesse on the outside miss apologies on the inside off the turn down the stretch for home neck and neck they go miss polity on the pylons on the outside forever finesse it's now forever finesse and it's going to be forever finesse miss polity close for place and show between blue man group and the streak Mile and 201 and 4.
Pretty now, ladies and gentlemen, the official winner of race four. It is the four horse forever finesse, a six year old Bay Pace and gelding by Western Paradise from all on patrol finesse. Owned by the Downey Racing Stable of St. John, trained under by Mike Downey. Forever finesse, fifth consecutive victory, and for Mike Downey, winner number 26 on the season at this track. Four forever finesse, the official race winner. Spirit with Todd Trites, Casimir Jappa with Mike Berrio, I Got a Rocket with Steve Mason, Night Talker with Mike Downey, Victory George with Lonnie Stokes. Feel a seven behind the gate. Gate is moving. At the top of the stretch. Here they come. They're off out of the pack, quickly going for the leads at So Bominator on the outside. Ultimate Spirit drives to Thomasville Bodine on the pylon three. On the outside, fourth and on the move. As they go into the turn and moving on to be third to the back stretch, Casimir Jappa on their way to the opening quarter. Obominator a length and a half. Ultimate Spirit driving to Thomasville Bodine racing three. Casimir Jappa moving four. Then on the inside, I got a rocket up on the outside and moving. Victory George Night Talker trails. In 29 and 1. Into the top turn they go. Positions unchanged. No, there's action up on the outside. Moving on the outside as they swing round the turn. Victory George down the stretch and we have Four in, three out, racing in front of the stand now, out in front still, Obominator, Victory George is at his wheel on the outside by the half in 59 and four. Ultimate Spirit third, I got a Rockets on the outside four. Thomasville Bodine on the pylons, racing five. Night Talker six on the outside, the trailer now. Casimir Jappa there bunched up as they go to the back stretch for the final time. Victory George by three parts of a length leads on the outside. Obominator driving two ultimate spirits tip to the outside. Now three on the inside. Racing in for Thomasville Bodine. In 131 and 2, into the top turn, and they're bunched up, flying three wide on the far outside. Night Talker as they move round the turn. That's uh, Night Talker, Victory George as they move round the turn in between horses. Victory George comes out of the pack. Night Talker, now they're four wide down the stretch, driving home. Now they're five wide, charging to the wire. Victory George, Abominator, Night Talker, going to be Night Talker. Close for Place and show. In 202. This time it's a six horse night talker. An eight year old bay pacing stallion by Western Ideal from Peaceful Feeling. Owned by Dr. Mitchell Downey of St. John, trained and driven to victory by Mike Downey. His 27th victory on the season at this track. 40th victory overall. Six Night Talker, the unofficial race winner. Inquiry continues. Coke or something. Or a Pepsi or, or a bottle of water. Gate is moving. At the top of the stretch. Here they come. They're off. That's escaped the night out of there quickly for the lead on the inside. Dusty Lane Buster as they go to the turn. Valid appeals on the pylons. A third Riverly Raider racing in four. Ryan's fancy and the trailer full of finesse to the back stretch. Now they go for the opening quarter. 
Out in front, still Dusty Lane Buster up on the outside. Escape the Night moves on to challenge for the lead. Racing on the inside, Valid Appeal as they go by the opening quarter. And on the outside, Escape the Night. 30 and 2 time for the quarter. Escape the night now, the leader, Dusty Lane Buster, driving two and has gone to the outside as they swing round the turn. Racing in third, that's a valid appeal. Riverly Raiders in the outside of four, driving a five, Ryan's Fancy, and the trailer is still full of finesse off the turn. Down the stretch now, they're on their way to the half. Up on the outside now, going for that lead is valid appeal, takes it by the half. In 102 and 2, Dusty Lane Buster is now a second, Riverly Raider racing third. Escape the night four to the outside now, moving on from five, that's full of finesse and the trailer is Ryan's fancy down the back stretch for the final time, opening up five blanks, valid appeal is out in front, Riverly Raider moves on to be second, Dusty Lane Buster third, on the outside, full of finesse, driving four. In 133, they're into the top turn for the final time. Valid appeal and making up ground around the top turn. That's Riverly Raider as they come up to the 7 eights down the stretch now for home. Valid appeal in the inside on the outside. Riverly Raider and full of finesse is on the move. Riverly Raider full of finesse goes to the inside. Riverly Raider and at the wire it's going to be Riverly Raider. Over valid appeal and full of finesse. In 203 and 1. Ready now, ladies and gentlemen, is the official winner of race six. It's the four horse, Riverly Raider. An eight year old bay free legged gelding by Force of Life from Parmesan Hanover. Owned by Paul Trainer of Summerside, Prince Edward Island, trained and driven by Daryl Jelly. Four, Riverly Raider, and 203 and 1 is the official race winner. Downey J.K. Rocket Man with Dale Spence, Excel Panic with Mark Haig, Ultimate Hope with Robert Laffin, All American Dazzle with Wayne Watson, Magical Alex with Todd Trites, Roses Sharks with Lonnie Stokes, Field of Eight, Behind the Gate. At the top of the stretch. Here they come. XL Panic quickly out of there for the lead up on the outside. A challenge as they go four wide for the turn is Magical Alex. And on the far outside, Rose uh, Sharks there. Three wide in the turn now going by the opening eight. On the inside, XL Panic moving up. Ultimate Hope is there for second and moving to the rail now in third, Magical Alex. Down the back steps, Rosa Sharks a four, All American Dazzle is five. J.K. Rocket Man's a six, House of Stars. 29 and three to the opening quarter, and the trailer is Yankee Dancer. They're in the top turn now, out in front with the lead still. That's XL Panic as they move around the turn. XL Panic, the leader, ultimate hopes on the outside. Off the turn, down the stretch, now they're going for the half. XL Panic. Takes them down the lane. There's four on the inside, three on the outside, and the trailer as they go by the half. 59. In 59 and four. Ultimate hopes on the outside now, challenging XL Panic for that lead. As they swing into the turn, Magical Alex on the inside, driving through on the outside now, moving on to be fourth. As the Rosa Sharks, they're bunched up tightly down the back stretch for the final time. 
XL Panic is the leader. Ultimate hope on the outside by a length and a quarter. Moving up on the inside as they go by the three quarters. Magical Alex in 131 and 3 into the top turn for the final time XL Panic is the leader takes him round the turn has opened up 3 now it's 4 lengths Magical Alex is second All American Dazzle driving third House of Stars now 4 off the turn down the stretch driving for home all alone through the lane XL Panic coming to the wire XL Panic and it's going to be XL Panic at the wire over Magical Alex and All-American Dazzle. Mile two minutes, three fifths. Printing back his second winner on the program and a track leading 40th of the season is Mark Hegg. This time it's the four XL Panic. Five-year-old Bay Pacing Mare by Yankee Cam from Alma Bayama. Owned by Jean-Marie Otis of Upper Golden Grove. Trained by Jean-Marie Otis and driven by Mark Hegg to victory in two minutes, three-fifths. XL Panic, two minutes, three-fifths, the unofficial winner. At the top of the stretch. Here they come. They're off quickly out of there for the lead. Ace on the river goes to the front, is on the pylons. Hello America driving too. Up on the outside and moving on, challenging for third. That's a miss all fun. Putnam's Glory holds third as they go to the back stretch on the outside on the move. Miss all fun now third now second chasing down the leader as they go for the opening quarter. Racing on the inside now and now up on the outside. Miss all fun takes command by the quarter. In 30 seconds flat driving into as they swing into the top turn. That's Ace on the river up on the outside. On the move, Putnam's Glory. Then Hello America, my bright penny on the trailer. Rackland, fine line off the turn down the stretch now. Racing for the half mile marker. They move on quickly through the lane out in front with the lead. Ace on the river as they race on down the stretch on the outside. Putnam's Glory is there to challenge. One minute flat, Miss All Fun, that's the leader. Miss All Fun out in front and up on the outside. Putnam's Glory up on the inside. Racing in third is the Ace on the River. They go to the back stretch for the final time. Miss All Fun and on the outside. There to challenge Putnam's Glory moves on quickly. Ace on the River is now third. Hello America driving four. Racing in five, Rackland fine line. As they go by the three quarters, my bright penny trails. 1.30 and 3 as they go into the top turn for the final time. Putnam's Glory gets a nose now a neck up on the outside. Now they're neck and neck on the inside. Miss all fun on the outside. Putnam's Glory. Here comes Rackland. Fine line in the far outside. Down the stretch as they fan out. Ace in the river looks for room. Hello America on the inside at the wire. And it's going to be Miss all fun, buddy. It's close. 201 and 1.
Pretty now, ladies and gentlemen, the unofficial winner of race eight. It's the four horse Rackland Fine Line, a 12 year old brown pace and gelding by Do Gothic Dream from Cam's Fine Line. Owned by the Element Stable of Greater Lake Burn, trained by Sifran Malençon. Driven by Wayne Watson to victory in 201 and 1. Rackland Fine Line, 201 and 1, the unofficial race winner. And for the veteran campaigner, Rackland Fine Line, his 69th victory. In a long career. With Todd Trites, made in Paris with Mark Haig, ROF Peruvian High with Sam Hodgen. Field of seven behind the gate, and the gate is moving. At the top of the stretch. Here they come. They're off out of the pack, quickly going for the lead. That's a penthouse as they go to the turn. Keystone Hot Pants driving two. Vicky Colleen racing in three. Moving for Sexy Boy Bayama as they go by the opening eighth. Out in front uh, with the lead as they go to the back stretch. That's Penthouse by a length and a quarter. Keystone Hot Pants driving to Vicky Colleen out of uh, three and goes on the outside. Moving on the inside, Sexy Boy Bayama is a four. Racing five, Lira Lira as they go to the top turn. ROF Peruvian High as they swing into the turn, trailing the field. That's made in Paris. Quarter, 30 seconds flat to the top of the stretch now. They're making their way for the half mile station. Setting the pace as they move on down the lane. Out in the front with that lead as they come on for the half mile marker. It's still Penthouse Vicky Colleen driving too. 59 and 4. Racing in three, Keystone Hot Pants up on the outside. Sexy Boy Bayama is now four, now three, chasing down the leader. To the back stretch for the final time. Still, Penthouse sets the pace up on the outside. Challenging as they go there for the final time. Racing up on the outside, Sexy Boy Bayama, Vicky Colleen holds second on the pylons. Tipping out three wide, Lira Lira. In 131 and 1, into the top turn for the final time. Penthouse, the leader, Vicky Colleen, second. Lira, Lira on the outside, motoring there to challenge for the lead. It's Penthouse, Lira, Lira on the outside, and Vicky Colleen, less than an eighth to go. Down the stretch they race. Penthouse, Lira, Lira up on the outside, action up on the inside. Vicky Colleen at the wire, it's going to be close. Looks like Penthouse, it's close. In 201 and 1. Braiding back, ladies and gentlemen, the unofficial winner of race nine, it's the four horse penthouse, five year old. Brown pacing stallion by House of Fun from Penn Crystal. Owned by Robert McLeod of Moncton, trained by Ron Chamberlain, driven by Scott Hubbard. For Penthouse in 201 and 1 is the unofficial race winner. After lunch, Larry with Gordy Hennessy. Skippy with Dale Spence, Kayla Sophia with Wayne Watson, field of six behind the gate. At the top of the stretch. Here they come. They're off out of the pack after lunch. Larry on the outside going for the lead as they go to the turn. Hyperion blue chips on the pylons, but after lunch, Larry takes command in the middle of the first turn. Driving to Hyperion blue chip, racing in three, Dance Hanover. 
I wish, I wish is moving for Skippy Racing 5 and the trailer down the back stretch, Kayla's Sophia. They make their way now for the opening quarter after lunch. Larry, the leader, length and a half, driving second, Hyperion Blue Chip. 29 and one time to the opening quarter as they go to the top turn. Out in front after lunch, Larry Hyperion Blue Chip still driving into Dance Hanover Racing 3. I wish, I wish is moving four up on the outside. Kayla's Sophia driving five off the turn. Down the stretch now, Skippy is the trailer. They're making the way to the half mile station as they come on up that station out in front after lunch, Larry. In 59 and 2, there's 3 in, 3 out into the turn for the final time. After lunch, Larry Hyperion Blue Chip, second on the outside, third and moving on as they go to the turn. Kyla Sophia down the back stretch, they go for the final time. Up on the outside, Skippy challenging for four on the inside. Dance Hanover holds on to it. I wish, I wish is the trailer. They race now by the three quarters. After lunch, Larry still in command. In 129 and 2, has been there the whole time. Hyperion Blue Chip racing in second. They're round the top turn. Up on the outside. Kayla Sophia holds on to third. Less than an eighth of a mile to go as they come on home. After lunch, Larry. Skippy's on the far outside down the stretch. Hyperion Blue Chip on the inside. Four wide through the lane. After lunch, Larry. Hyperion Blue Chip on the inside. Going to be Hyperion Blue Chip over. Kayla Sophia after lunch, Larry. In one fifty nine and four. Freedom back as third winner on the program is Mike Downey. This time it's Hyperion Blue Chip, a four-year-old bay pacing stallion by American Ideal from Hawaiian Dixie. Owned by Dr. Mitchell Downey of St. John, trained or driven to victory by Mike Downey. For the two horse, Hyperion Blue Chip, a win in 159-4 and four for Mr. Downey. That brings his seasonal total here at Exhibition Park Raceway to 28 wins. with Wayne Watson, Super Shot with Sean McLennan, Rockstar Bayama with Todd Trites, Sittler with Gordy Hennessy, and Jacob with Scott Hubbard. Field of eight, behind the gate. At the top of the stretch, Here they come. They're off slim and sleek on the inside as they go three wide for the turn. Rockstar Bayama in between horses second. Sittler on the far outside. Now third challenging the leaders as they go to the turn. Race on by the opening eighth on the inside. They're racing in for Shaco de Rousseau. They're down the back stretch now for the opening quarter. Slim and sleek. Sleek sets the pace, is out in front by a length and a half. Chaco de Rousseau driving second, now on the rail. Settler is third. 29 and 2 time for the opening quarter. Racing in four. Rockstar by Emma moving five. Picking up checks. Then it's Jacob as they go to the turn. MD hardly success out of seven goes to the outside. And the trailer super shot. They're off the turn. Down the stretch now and racing for the half mile station. As they move on through the lane out in front. Slim and sleek holds command. It's one and one quarter lengths the lead as they go by the half. 
59 and 2. Shock go to Rousseau 2. Settler 3 now. Tips to the outside as they go to the turn. Rockstar by Emma Racing in 4. Moving 5. Picking up chicks. MD. Hardly success is on the outside. 6 and Jacob and the trailer down the back stretch. Super shot on the way to the 3 quarters. Slim and Sleek is still the leader. It's the length and a half and on the inside. Shock to Rousseau driving 2 up on the outside in 130 and 1 and racing third there to challenge as they go to the turn at a settler they swing round the top turn slim and sleek is the leader shock to Rousseau second flying up on the outside MD hardly success and on the inside rockstar by Emma and settler between horses down the stretch slim and sleek and up on the outside Racing quickly as they come to the wire. It's going to be slim and sleek. A rock star by him. It's really close for place and show. Into a one and two. Trading back, ladies and gentlemen, his fourth winner of the afternoon, 29th of the season here is Mike Downey. It's with the two horse, Slim and Sleek. Seven-year-old Bay Pacing Mare by Kemi Best from Starlight and Velvet. Owned by Dr. Mitch Downey of St. John, trained by Mike Downey to victory in 2-0-1-2. Two, Slim and Sleek is the official race winner.